Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whenever you're watching this. Um, my name is David Target. I am one of the graduate assistants in the Office of Gift Planning, and I have with us today Ryan Gonzalez. How are you today? I'm good, David. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, to get us quickly started, I was hoping you could give us a quick introduction and um, let us know what year you are at St. John's and what you're studying. Sure. Well, my name is Ryan Gonzalez, as David said. Uh, I'm a first year freshman at St. John's. I'm an advertising major uh, with a minor in graphic design. Awesome. Um, how, how has the, uh, the online school been treating you? It's, it's a shame that we haven't been in person yet. Yeah, I mean, I've been lucky enough to be like half and half, so I've still gotten a chance to be in person, but it's definitely, it's definitely different. Um, yeah. Just coming from being in high school all those years, like always being in person and now suddenly being in online school, it's definitely a lot to take on and it can be overwhelming, but overall, it's been a good process and St. John's has made it very easy for us. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of the students feel the same way. I know I do. And um, hopefully uh, this will be over sooner than later. Um, yeah, so really. hopefully you'll get to experience the, the full breadth of St. John's. Um, so you're here today for our, our Lenten reflection segment. Um, yes. Can you kind of maybe talk me through uh, like any of the traditions that you partake in for Lent or maybe um, some of the family traditions that you and your family have? Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, I've always grown up in a very religious environment. I've gone to Catholic school my whole life from preschool all the way now through St. John's and Lent has always been something, you know, just as a Catholic in general, that's a very important time of year. And, you know, I would say we've always followed the general, you know, no meat on Fridays and, you know, uh, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday with the fasting and stuff and always trying to find something to either give up or something that you could do to better yourself. So as I've gotten older, that's definitely become more and more important to me just because, but yeah, definitely a very important time of year for me and my family. Awesome. And so it's basically like a, you would say like a time of reflection almost? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so the, the, the season of Lent uh, comes to an end with Easter Sunday, correct? Yes. So what happens that weekend? Because I, uh, as you can tell, I'm not very religious and yeah. I probably should know better. I haven't gone to St. John's for five years now, but I don't. Um, so yeah. what is, how does that final weekend go? It's Good Friday and then. Yeah. So it actually starts with Holy Thursday. Holy so Thursday. Holy Thursday um, with, you know, the last supper and everything like that. And then Good Friday is when, you know, Jesus was crucified and hung on the cross and then he was laid to rest for three days. And Sunday, Easter Sunday is when he rose from the dead and came back to life. So it's like a very uh, critical weekend in the Catholic church. It's some may say it's like the most important weekend of the year in our faith. So mm -hmm. definitely something that like I try to keep in mind every year. Mm -hmm. So I know Easter Sunday is usually like a big meal. And um, what, what is what are like the traditions for like um, Holy Thursday and, and Good Friday usually? Yeah, so it, it depends. I mean, for a lot of people, um, Good Friday, like, it's a very somber day. Yeah. Where, like, you really try to lay low and not do too much because it's a really, like, sad day, a lot of mourning. Um, right. There's no masses on Good Friday. It's, like, one of the only days of the year, at, at least to my understanding, that's um, no masses. There's only prayer services because it's a day of, you know, sadness right. and reflection, so things like that. And then a lot of times on Holy Thursday, there's, um, they do the stations of the cross, you know, just to remind people what Jesus went through for us. Awesome. Um, well, like I said, this is usually our quick interview that hopefully our, our McCallans enjoy hearing from the, the students about how they uh, practice the, the season of Lent. So thank you so much, Ryan, for joining us today. Um, I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Glad I could help.